Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel and if you are new then welcome. Today I decided to do a smoky eye. I did a vote on my Instagram, a smoky eye or updated foundation routine and this one won but I do plan to do a updated foundation routine very very soon. So if you would love to see how I achieve this look then stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. My brows done, my hair is out the way, I'm all ready to go. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer, and this is the Dewy kind. I never used this yet, so, or did I? I think I did one time. I lied. I'm just going to take a little bit. I've been liking, like, the Dewy look instead of the matte look. Like, I usually always do matte looking foundation, but I have a matte foundation, so that matte on top of the matte sometimes can make me look dry. And I don't have dry skin, but I like this. Like, look at that glow it gives me. Now that I'm all glowy, I'm going to... Oh, yeah, I'm starting off by doing my face first. I know you guys know I don't really do my face first. I'm going to take the Maybelline 24-Hour Foundation and 334 Sun. And I'm also going to be mixing... Like, I'm trying to... I'm not trying to look dewy-dewy, but it'll all come together. I'm going to take my Master um, Strobe and Liquid and Deep Gold. I'm gonna mix that in my foundation. I'm not gonna take a lot, I'm just taking a little bit. Like if you can see the foundation, then I just put a little bit of that. Okay, my foundation brush is a little dusty. So we're just gonna act like we don't see that. I'm gonna take my Mario Badescu spray and spray it on my brush and put that foundation all over. If you're hearing like a little bell, that's my dog. I'm gonna take a uh, dark cocoa and wet and wild and I'm going to warm up the face with this and then I'm gonna go in with a darker contour shade then I'm gonna spray my brush again my jelly couture brush oh, I just sprayed my mirror sprayed my mirror I'm gonna go in with my uh, Just Up Large Concealer Brush and my Anastasia um, Cream Contour Kit. I'm gonna be taking this shade right here. That's the shade Chocolate. And I'm gonna be contouring with this shade. Oops. So I need to contour on the temples right here. Before I did go um, on top with the other shade, but this shade I'm just gonna keep it right on the temples. Kinda went heavy on the nose. I don't really crinkle toward the nose, but I to tone that down with my foundation brush. Now going in with the Wet n Wild Concealer and Medium Deep Tan. We are going to highlight. Now I'm just going to take um, the shade Medium Tawny, it's a little lighter, and just mix that in. So I'm going to take my Sasha Buttercup powder and just set that in place. Alright, so I'm going to go back to the face, but for now I'm going to start the eyes. To start, I'm going to be taking Jessup's Tapered Blending Brush. I'm going to be taking uh, which shade? this shade right here for my transition color in the Morphe 350 palette. And I'm just going to be putting that in my crease. Now I'm going to go in with this orange shade at the top and go right below that transition shade. I'm using the same brush. So I'm just gonna look like it's fading a little bit. Circle of motions on the outer area and back and forth motions in the crease. Now just to burn that orange out even further, I'm taking a Jessup blending brush. I'm just going over we don't have any harsh lines. Okay, I'm gonna pick up some more orange. Go right back over. 
Okay. Anastasia Beverly Hills Waterproof Cream Color and Sable. And we want to put down a base. I'm going to put this right on my lid. And you want to start off low when you put down a dark shade like this. It dries very quickly, so I'm gonna work fast too. I'm just gonna take my uh, taper up blending brush by Jessup, it's the small one, and I'm just going to blend out that um, cream base. And you see, I kept it low, I didn't put it all over top of my lid because I am going over that um, with a eyeshadow. Now I'm just taking this uh, Equal Tools eyeshadow brush G by Tarte. This is a brown shade. I'm going to place this all over the lid. I'm just going to put some powder under my eyes because if I get fallout, it's going to catch it. I'm going to look a little weird for a second. <laughs> so I'm just taking up a little bit at first and then I'm going to just keep building it up. You don't want to go over your eyelid. Don't do that. Because we're going to be blending and blending and blending it upwards with picking up no more product, I'm taking that little brush again and I'm going to circle motions over that crease and then I'm going to be picking up brown again but for the first time we just want to go in with no product and gradually blend it. As you can see, you still see my orange peeking through, and that's because we didn't pass that crease. We kept it below the crease, and specifically on the uh, eyelid. And then if you want, you can go back in on that um, crease, pick up some on that orange, and lightly bring some product back in there. So you want to take a light hand while doing it. I'm going to blend everything again. Go over with a clean brush. I'm going to take my um, Maybelline Master Chrome and just put that on brow bone. I'm just going to take that powder and dust it away. I'm going to put some mascara on. False lashes will be bomb, but I don't wear falsies yet. Maybe soon I will, but I like my lashes. Alright, so I'm taking the Black Radiance Contour Kit. This is the medium to dark. First, I'm going to take the shade in the middle. Just to warm up the face. This is so pigmented, like I keep forgetting to go in lightly with this thing. You know what? I think that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to go in with the contour shade. So I'm going in with my Sephora powder. And my e.l.f. blush brush. To set everything. Give me some color back in my life and set, especially under my eyes because I baked. I'm gonna put that powder under my eyes so I don't get flashback. We don't want no flashback, you did. Why do I keep saying you did? You did. So I'm going back in with that waterproof color with a Wet n Wild liner brush. I'm gonna line my waterline. I'm just going to take this flat finer brush and smudge that out, going back in with that brown shade. I'm 
I'm gonna connect it. I'm gonna take my Marbadesco spray and drench my face. Now I'm going in with my Maybelline Master Chrome uh, highlighter. 